the Yaks here, Aquascapes of Michiana. If you're ready to love your backyard, or in this case, the Potawatomi Zoo, and uh, building the Potawatomi Zoo's dreams one boulder at a time. Hey, what's going on guys? Christopher Yaks here, Aquascapes of Michiana. Well, hey, it is prep week for the Potawatomi Zoo. We got some stuff going on. We got a concrete form that was poured this morning for the gazebo and feeding platform that's going right there. And then obviously you guys already know my water feature is gonna go right here next to it on this big pile of dirt. We actually got a couple days before this actually cures. So we'll, we're gonna let that cure. The construction company is gonna get all of this dirt backfilled here, creating a much more open space than what you guys see here. Then this weekend, I'm actually gonna go ahead and start uh, excavating the pond out. But uh, right now we are here, we've got all of our building materials on site. The guys are building the aqua blocks right now. They're doing a great job on it, just kind of chilling out in the shade right there for our wetland filter that's gonna go right in this area right here. And then for our intake system that's gonna go over there by that tree. Also got our, got half of our machines in this week uh, because that's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need for this weekend for excavating the pond. Big shout out to McAllister Cat in Niles, Michigan, getting me this awesome 307 and uh, getting me that uh, brand new, it's only got three hours on it, but that is a brand new 279 D3 two speed high flow XPS skid steer. That thing is freaking awesome. I'm a huge skid steer operator. Um, I would rather be in a skid steer than an excavator. I'm safe in an excavator. I can run an excavator, but I can put your makeup on with the bucket vest skid steer. Chris is really good with these skid steers. Could you say in an excavator, I'll put your makeup on with a bucket vest skid steer. And uh, that's, uh, that's kind of where I like to stay. Uh, I kind of like to stay in my skid steer and I kind of like to do my thing. So, but go ahead and flip you guys around and kind of show you a little bit more of the site. We got uh, a lot of backfill here. You know, we got, we got this big old Komatsu over here that's dug all this out. And see, this is these this line right here is where the stairs are actually gonna go. Our waterfall is actually gonna end up right up here, running right down there. And that is where our pond is going to be. I'm just gonna wait on the construction company uh, over the next couple days. They're gonna get all this backfill back up here. They're gonna get everything back to grade and compacted for me. Uh, I've been in touch with the general contractor uh, from the construction company, Paul. Great guy, uh, old school. You know, I really, I really vibe really well with the old school construction guys because I grew up in this life. I grew up in the construction life and you know, my dad was in, in carpentry and construction and all that kind of stuff. So kind of know how these guys already vibe. You know, that's kind of one thing about me is most people who get into ponds and become master pond builders actually come from a landscape standpoint. You know, they usually start in like mow and blow and then work their way up to ponds. Whereas I actually came from construction, working construction, roofing, framing. I also worked in the factories. I worked a structural steel tubing place right before I, right before I started Aquascapes of Michiana. So I actually come from pull yourself up by your bootstraps and, and work yourself. A man is as good as his word and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the world I come from. Working on these bigger projects, I feel right at home. Working side by side with these other construction guys and these construction companies and general contractors and all that stuff, I get it. I know how it goes, I know how it works. And that's one of the most appealing things about other CACs who happen to come from a landscaping standpoint. Uh, they don't understand those things and that's what makes me really appealing to them as far as hiring me out for traveling around the country and doing CAC is across America. As you guys can see, man, we got a big site here. This is this was two weeks behind schedule right behind me with the with the concrete and the, the gazebo and the feeding platform and stuff like that. Once again, we're in prep week. So that's that's what this week was all about. We're here, we're getting everything, boulders, travel, cobble, big, big boulders you guys have already seen. We're getting all of that logistical stuff situated. We're getting our aqua blocks built. We're getting all of our materials here. We're gonna get the excavation done on the pond this week. So that way when the infamous crew, Carl Petit, Jeff Michaels, 
Damian Drager, Matt Griffin, and Cody Gilstrap. We added Cody Gilstrap to the team. When all of them get here on Sunday, Monday morning, we are ready to go. We are ready for liner and underlayment, and we're gonna be strapping up, and we're gonna be placing these huge boulders right here. Look at these. That is every bit of a four to five foot boulder right there. That's a four foot boulder. That's a four foot boulder. That's a five foot boulder. That's a really big blue three foot boulder. That's a six foot boulder. Really, really big stones that they, the Potawatomi Zoo was able to get me. These are dream materials that every CAC dreams of working with and they are ready to go. That's honestly one of the biggest things about these large projects is scheduling and logistics. And since the Potawatomi Zoo has been so on the ball, and I do really give them credit for this, they have, they have been so on the ball that all of our materials have, have come in early. Like these, these have been here for a few weeks now. And because they were already dedicated and they already knew that me and my guys were gonna be doing this water feature, we were able to get contracts signed, we were able to get materials ordered early this year before the great supply chain <laughs> malfunctions happen, that we're not waiting on any type of material for this job. It's here, it's all here, there's more than what is needed here for this job because one of the things that I want to do with my crew and my guys because I have such potent talent on this job, I want to give them all of the materials so they can do their best. I want their A game, I want everything to be perfection, I want everything to be just top notch as far as a creativity standpoint. And that is what I plan for on this project. That is what I did, that is what I brought in. I brought in high caliber talent that I know can knock this thing out of the park. I want to be able to support them in any type of, hey Chris, I want to do this. Or hey Chris, I got this really great idea. As long as we're following the basic outline of the project, and they want to do some things and get creative. This is the type of project that you get creative on. Look at all those rocks right there. Those are all three foot plus boulders right there. And we even got some fours. These are some fours right here. So we've got more than enough rock to do this project and to also be creative on it. So yeah. So prep week here at the Potawatomi Zoo. And uh, as you guys can see, they are still open. They have not closed this thing down at all for this project. They are all still doing it. There are people walking by, hanging out, and just seeing what we're up to and what's going on in, inside the exhibit all day. So I kind of feel like one of the animals here at the zoo. Everybody's just kind of walking around and, ooh, hey, what's that guy doing? What are they doing? Oh, I see their sign. Oh, they're putting in the, you know. So there's, there's a lot of things, and especially when we start up all the machines, you know. All the kids are just wow and, and you know in awe and stuff like that of the machines just running and taking pictures. I got, this is a high profile project. Um, I'm loving every second of it because me personally I am a big huge ham and uh, yeah I am absolutely loving this. Prep week at Potawatomi Zoo. Gotta get back to it. See you guys.